Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SMIW. This is Rising Stars. I am Joe Davis with my broadcast colleague, Bob Chicken and Grits Costly. Chicken and Grits, Joe. Chicken and Grits all day. And here we are in the ring with the board of directors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome all to SMIW. Today we celebrate Rising Stars. Unfortunately, Mr. McNichols, our plan last time didn't come to fruition. So we. So sorry, boss. So sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm getting riled up, but it's all right. Because tonight we have the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Aiden Lane, the EWA National Heavyweight Champion, will be stepping into this ring today to face the World Heavyweight Champion of SMIW, Pain. On top of that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot going down today. We have a very, very stacked match card for you all. Don't we, gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a brilliant yes, show. It's gonna be a brilliant show. In the very first match, your opener, we're going to have the returning Brian Myers, fresh off of his victory over Michael Ralston. His star is already rising. And he goes up against last year's rookie and a guy that's making a name for himself as well, Mr. Lonnie Robinson. That is your opener. Following that, we have a big United States Championship match. Michael Ralston, whose star has been dwindling a little bit. He steps into this ring against the vile, disrespectful United States Champion, Nick Thunder. Gross. Just gross. That match is your second match. It is for the United States Championship, and maybe, just maybe, Michael Ralston's star will rise once again. Hopefully, for his sake. After that, we have a singles match, pitting the outlaw, Sid, against the living nightmare that we know as Panic. And that should be a very hard hitting contest since Sid was unable to successfully regain the United States Championship. We are going to give Panic to him tonight. This match is gonna be grotesque. Yes, absolutely. Your main event of the evening, as I had mentioned, the World Heavyweight Champion. Payne steps into this ring. And he goes up against this man, the savior of SMIW. The elegant savior, I might add. So suave. The suave. Suave. Mr. Suave Aiden Lane takes on Payne in your main event for the World Heavyweight Championship and as a contingency plan so that we have no other unfortunate events like we did at our last show. Mr. Lee Michelson. Yes, sir. I am appointing you as the special guest referee for our main event right here today at Rising Stars. It would be an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one other surprise for you. I am pleased to announce Earlier this evening, we have signed a former SMIW talent. His career has been legendary throughout the years. He hasn't been seen in several years, hasn't been heard from in several years, but he has signed a brand new contract and he will be here today at Rising Stars. I'm not going to let you know exactly when he's going to arrive, but I can guarantee you this, and when I make a guarantee, gentlemen, it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. You know that you take that to the bank and you cash that check. I guarantee you will see this gentleman right here today. So there's a little surprise from you, uh, from me to all of you. Before we uh, get on with the show, Mr. Aiden Lane, would you like to say anything to your adoring public pending your eventual title win right here tonight. Well, you see, 
I'll be going against the monster, or as I like to call him, the face-painted, grotesque, nasty, yeah, God, the guy makes me yes. sick. Yes, yes, yes. Pain is the heavyweight champion of SMIW. I am the elegant Wrestling Alliance national heavyweight champion. After tonight, I will be the heavyweight champion of both the EWA and SMIW. Yes. Because that is how I work. You are done straight. Yes. Done yes. straight. Yes. I am elegance. I am excellence. I am intelligent. I am intelligent. That is who I am. I am suave Aiden Lane. I am the elegant savior, as you like to say. Yes. Yes. And I will be your champion. Thank you for those words. Ladies and gentlemen, guarantees have been made. Stars will rise, other stars may fall. Nonetheless, we hope you enjoy the show because once again, I guarantee, I know I will. Stay tuned because the action is coming right up. Well, talking about stacking the deck against our world heavyweight champion, Payne, I don't really see that that's fair, Bob. But nonetheless, here it is, our opening contest, the returning Brian Myers, fresh off a victory against Michael Ralston at New Beginnings against Lonnie Robinson. Well, I'll tell you what, Joe, I, I think the CEO needs to do anything he possibly can to try to bring down the monster that is pain. Uh, but first, as you, as you said, we're going to have a Brian Myers, Lonnie Robinson throwdown, and I'm very interested to see how this goes. Brian Myers so far only with one match in the SMIW. Uh, he seems to have a little bit of an attitude that I tend to enjoy. He's uh, all business, as it were, and I can't wait to see how he uh, stacks up against uh, Lonnie Robinson. Uh, you and I both, and uh, you see Brian Myers here rolling into the ring. He is ready for action here at Rising Stars, awaiting for the arrival of his opponent, the rookie of last season, uh, somebody who has been making a name for himself here within the company, Mr. Lonnie Robinson. The King Lonnie Robinson. And both Lonnie Robinson and Brian Myers looking for a victory here tonight. Uh, a victory will go a long way with either of these competitors trying to climb the ladder, uh, as it were, here in SMIW to eventually get to the top, Bob. Uh, that's totally correct, Joe. And uh, I think we're about to see them kick it off here. Uh, Lonnie Robinson is going to extend the hand. And, uh, of course, Brian Myers is going to shove back. We saw that even in episode one of this. And we go to the collar and elbow tie up here. And a hammerlock by Brian Myers. A couple forearm shots to the back of the head. And he's going to transition that to the side headlock. Uh, back up against the ropes here. Whip off to the far side. Brian Myers on the rebound. And a big clothesline. And going for the cover early here. One. Two. Look at that face, Joe. Look at that face. All business, just like I said. And keeping with the with that trend, staying on Lonnie Robinson, keeping the pressure on uh, with this top wrist lock here. Uh, Lonnie Robinson going to do his best to make it back to his feet. He does so. He's going to try to break up this hold with some punches to the midsection. Uh, cut off at the pass by Brian Myers and a DDT, bringing him down to the mat. He's going to go for the cover here again. One, two. Uh, only a two count, but uh, not the uh, greatest of covers there by Brian Myers. I, I, you could probably chalk that up as a rookie mistake. Uh, reversal by Lonnie Robinson sends him to the corner, and he's going to start using that striking ability that uh, he's really getting to be known for here in SMIW. Unfortunately for Brian Myers, that pin was much like a floppy waffle, and I hope to never see much more of this from him as this continues. Whoa. Here's a pin. Two. Uh, two count for Lonnie Robinson. Again, not the, the strongest of covers there. Um, you know, if either of these guys want to pin their opponent, uh, they're going to have to uh, uh, tighten up on the covers there a little bit. They're going to bring Brian Myers back up off his feet after uh, stopping him in the stomach, wearing him down. Brian Myers, he is going to turn the tide here on Lonnie Robinson, taking him to the far side, head into the turnbuckle. Forearm blow to the stomach, uh, knee to the stomach. Uh, Lonnie Robinson going to come out of the corner. He's going to hook up Brian Myers, changing the game, and a jawjacker, jawbreaker there by the king, Lonnie Robinson. He's going to go for another cover here. One, two. Still only a two count for Lonnie Robinson. 
Oh, what is this? Bob, it's your friend. Really? Well, yes, it's Kentucky Jim. Love me, the Kentucky Jim, man. He's, he's here to teach these boys a little thing about Southern wrestling, and I'm uh, pretty excited to see what he's out here for. Well, Mr. Uh, Biscuits and Gravy himself sticking his nose in another match where he doesn't belong. Lonnie Robinson's going to have none of it here. And, uh, he's going to pounce his face off the uh, ring uh, apron there and into the building. Lonnie Robinson has had enough of Kentucky Jim. Back up against the building again. He's going to take it to the old Southern boy. Thrown to the ground is Kentucky Jim. Lonnie Robinson uh, going to... Try to teach Kentucky Jim here a lesson. He's tired of him getting in his business, and I can't say that I blame him. But he's taking his eye off the ball. He's taking his eye off of his opponent. You cannot do that here at SMIW. Lack of focus may cost him here. Trying to stir the gravy at Kentucky Jim, and he's probably just out here to enjoy the match. Well, I'm not sure what Kentucky Jim was actually here for, but Lonnie Robinson here back into the ring. And just like that, we see the Armageddon from Brian Myers in the One, cover. Two, three. And a victory. That three count, the sudden Armageddon to the three count and your winner of the contest is Brian Myers. Let's take a replay on how this match progressed, Bob. It was a decent match. Lonnie Robinson, he screwed himself really by distracting his focus onto Kentucky Jim as he made his entrance here. Oh, Can Ducky Jim distracting Lonnie Robinson yet again. Uh, there you see the uh, jawbreaker there by Lonnie Robinson, and he had this match well in hand until Can Ducky Jim shows up at the ringside area. Lonnie Robinson was going to make him pay for it, and pay for it he did uh, by this beatdown. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, properly deserved. But once he got back into the ring, there you see it from our sky cam. The Armageddon from Brian Myers, One, and the three count, two, and the victory. Three for the newcomer, Brian Myers. There's my winner, Brian Myers. There's the winner, Big Pan. There's my man. Now, there's my old gun pal right here. He did just right, right here. Kentucky Jim, Big Pan winner. Right. Well, even Brian Myers is gonna have none of this. Uh, Kentucky Jim laid out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Brian Myers. Uh, we are actually going to send you backstage right now with our interviewer, Peter Evans, who's standing by with Michael Ralston. Michael Ralston, Peter Evans here, backstage interviewer for SMIW. Uh, as you prepare for your United States Championship match, uh, how do you feel? I know you've been struggling quite a bit as of late with uh, your in-ring work and things like that, and haven't really seemed to have been able to quite pick up a victory. Do you have a strategy or a different type of... Uh, um, you know, have you been doing anything else to prepare for this match than, than you have in the past? Um, anytime that anybody asks, you know, a competitor if they have a strategy, it, it kind of makes me laugh because I'm not going to, even if I have a strategy, I'm not really going to give it away right here and now. You know, right, I have right, an right. opponent that might be watching this. I mean, Nick Thunder, obviously, he's my brother. I've known him a long time, um, but make no mistake, this, this match is not going to be a walk in the park. You know, when we're talking, this is for the United States Championship here, you know, and uh, but again, as far as a strategy, you know, I just, just kind of watch and see. Uh, as far as uh, you talk about me struggling, uh, yeah, I, I've been struggling quite a bit. And um, it's really kind of has me second guessing whether I should even be here or not, to be quite honest with yeah, you. Yeah, that's never a good thing. It's, it's, it isn't. But, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything I can. I, 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 again, I know Nick Thunder, we've... We've fought, we've rode down the road together, we've uh, experienced life together, you know? So uh, I feel I know him pretty well. Uh, obviously he's at the top of his game these days. I'm not ashamed to say it, I haven't been. I'm gonna have to step up my game here tonight. If I wanna walk out with the United States Championship, I know what I gotta do. It's just as far as executing it. Oh good, you're right here. Just the man I need to see. Here, come. Step into my office. You can uh, go and do something else for a while. <clears throat> All right. I'm Peter Evans. Back to ringside. Well, thank you, Peter. And uh, I'm interested to see what that was all about between our COO and Michael Walston. Nonetheless, we bring you next the SMIW United States Championship match as 
the former two-time United States champion Michael Ralston takes on the three-time United States champion and the current defending champion Nick Thunder. This ought to be very interesting as well, Joe. I, uh, <clears throat> I really want to pull for Michael Ralston here, but honestly, he has been rather off his game lately. And I don't know if he's really got what it takes to go up against Nick Thunder at this particular moment. Well, with everything that uh, Michael Ralston's been through, I don't know if we necessarily need to count him out yet. But here he comes. And um, by the look on his face, he does not seem happy at all. This, uh, this isn't quite like my, uh, Michael Ralston here, Bob. Something's going on here. Yeah, somebody certainly seems to have pre-peeled his banana or peed his beaties. I don't really know what's going on, but he does have uh, an awfully angry look. Now, I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in this match. He, he's he got a game face on. I don't know if the, that had something to do with uh, that little meeting there with our COO, but, uh, well, regardless, he waits for his opponent, the current reigning and defending United States champion, Nick Thunder, and there is the man himself. Looking to retain that title once again. He's been steamrolling over the competition as of late and find himself the United States champion. We're going to get this match underway right here next. Whoa, right over the top and leaps off the side of the ring is Michael Ralston onto Nick Thunder. He's going to get a couple of shots in right here, right now. He's going hard and fast at Nick Thunder. He obviously needs business. So I, I am curious myself to know what the COO must have said to him to get this fire lit under his behind. Well, a heavy headbutt right there uh, by Michael Ralston. There, there's, uh, I, I tried to catch what he was saying there a minute ago. He was yelling at Nick Thunder. This kind of seems like there's, there's some kind of aggression coming out that we are not used to seeing from Michael Ralston uh, in the early stages of this matchup. I'll tell you what, Joe, he's going to need that aggression if he plans on beating Nick Thunder here. And he better be thanking his lucky stars he even has this opportunity in the first place. You do make a valid point. Um, some would say that Michael Ralston should not even be in this match right now. But regardless, here he is, and he is taking it to his best friend in Nick Thunder. And back in the ring now, still giving uh, Nick Thunder those heavy right hands. And a leg drop to follow that up. Michael Ralston's going to go for the cover. One, two. A uh, two count for Michael Ralston here. Uh, Nick Thunder really kind of seems off his game. Uh, Michael Ralston really bringing the fight uh, to Nick right off the get from the beginning of this match. We'll see what he's got going on here next. He's going to run up against the ropes. And a heavy basement uh, clothesline from Michael Ralston is a maneuver that we've never really seen before. Follows that up with a big elbow drop off the ropes and another cover here. One, two. And again, a two count for Michael Ralston. Just one second away from claiming the United States Championship for a third time. Climbing the ropes here, going to where Michael Ralston is at home. And leaps off the top. Nick Thunder saw it coming. These guys know each other so well. He charges across the ring and he gets the feet up and into the chest of Nick Thunder to cut him off. What a uh, exchange there between these two. Yes, that was a quick response for Nick Thunder, but to no avail as he met both the feet of Michael Ralston there in the corner. Michael Ralston is certainly on fire, and if he stays this way, he's certainly going to overcook Nick Thunder's steak. Overcook it. It's always... This guy is killing me. Somebody somebody get him a flaming yawn. Uh, oh, and over the top rope there is Michael Ralston. Nick Thunder held onto the ropes when he was whipped across, pulled the ropes down, and Michael Ralston goes tumbling to the outside. It looks like he may have uh, hit his upper back there on the side of the ring, and this gives Nick Thunder a breather that he truly needed to try to get his wits back about him to get back into this match. Yeah, Nick Thunder's going to really have to take his time here if he wants to catch his breath, but he's going to go right back at it with a big boot to Michael Ralston's face. And uh, the momentum has shifted for the current reigning world, excuse me, the current reigning United States champion, uh, Nick Thunder. It looks like uh, the aggression is boiling over for Nick Thunder as well. He's got him in that full Nelson. What's he going to do with him? Oh, and up against the side of the building twice. 
No, a third time just ragdolling Michael Ralston into the side of the building. The, uh, the anger, the aggression uh, pouring out of Michael Ralston is now making uh, Nick Thunder having to retaliate in the same manner. Again, these guys are friends. These guys have known each other forever. They're almost inseparable. They're like brothers, and they got, these guys are just beating the hell out of each other here. This has got to be rather exhausting for Nick Thunder, as almost every match he's had of, as of late has involved somebody just becoming totally explosive on him. I mean... Nick Thunder's definitely had to change his tactics, uh, you know, already so far this season, just between him and Sid. And here it comes, an electric funeral by Nick Thunder. What impact on the electric funeral. And if he were to give a cover right now, which it looks like he's going to do, he might have it. One, two. No. No, only a two count for Nick Thunder. What impact on the electric funeral that really slowed down Michael Ralston. Let's see if he can get back into this match. You had mentioned something about, uh, you know, uh, Nick Thunder and the way that he's been in the ring as of late, and and I can agree. He's really had to uh, kind of change a little bit, kind of adapt to his opponents uh, in the recent months uh, with guys like Sid, you know, that bringing that brawling style. He's had to get a little meaner, a little grittier, and you, you can see that coming out here in this match, which I didn't really expect with facing off with a friend like uh, Michael Ralston. He ducks under the clothesline and a drop kick to the knee, taking Nick Thunder down. What a maneuver there by Michael Ralston, cutting off uh, Nick Thunder and his momentum. And here you go, you see he's working on that leg again. That's a sound strategy here uh, from Ralston. And uh, with a guy like Nick Thunder with all the power-based maneuvers that uh, Nick likes to use, uh, if he's down on his back, he can't execute uh, uh, another electric funeral, and he certainly cannot uh, pull off the electric chair. That is uh, certainly right, Joe. He's going to be dancing on one wet noodle from here on out. Oh, this guy's killing me with this with this food. Um, I mean, I don't I don't even know what to say to you right now. I really don't have a clue. Uh, get the guy Twizzlers or something. I don't know. Michael Ralston here still working on that leg, burying the knee uh, in the back of the leg. And you gotta follow that up here, laying the entire body weight uh, on the back of the leg of Nick Thunder. Nick Thunder, to his credit, he's gonna be fighting from the ground up here, it seems, with that right hand to the back of the head of Michael Ralston. These guys look like they're just gonna go blow for blow. They're just gonna go all out heavy blows back and forth to see who gains the advantage here i, I wonder what's going to happen as this this match goes on nick thunder he's going to lay in a couple of hard heavy fists to michael ralston's face and i just wonder how he's going to continue with his leg the way it is and that's a valid question i mean you can see right here he's having a lot of trouble putting uh any any kind of weight or pressure on that leg uh I did, oh, and there's a big elbow drop caving in the sternum of Michael Ralston. Uh, Bob, are, are you as shocked as I am? In the, I didn't expect this kind of aggression out of these two here uh, tonight. Again, these guys you know, are, are, are like brothers. You see them hanging out backstage all the time. I did not see this. Uh, wait, hold on. But actually, before you answer that question, it looks like Nick Thunder is going to go for the victory here. He's going to set him up for the electric chair, and his leg gave out, Bob. His leg gave out on him. He couldn't pull it off. That leg certainly has nothing left, Joe. Michael Ralston has used his aggression to tear him apart in this match thus far. And that is the answer to the question. Yes, I am just as shocked as you are to see this happen out of Michael Ralston. And here it is, a couple of legs right to the chest of Nick Thunder. Again, if the man can't breathe, you can't fight. But Michael Ralston now clearly with the advantage, he's gonna drag Nick Thunder uh, away from that corner. It looks like Michael Ralston may be setting up to, to claim victory here in this matchup. He's gonna climb up, up to the top rope, where he is at home, where he's the most dangerous. And here he comes with the kamikaze bomb, beautifully done here. He's gonna roll over for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Right here at Rising Stars. Michael Ralston gets himself out of the hole with a huge victory and is your new 
United States champion. Here's how it all went down. Right at the beginning, over the top rope, and, and the and right down on Nick Thunder, and it started quick, Bob. Yes, it did, Joe. This, this was explosive right from the get. And I'll tell you what, what an overcooked match this was. You need some therapy, sir. Uh, I, I don't know if you, you need it. You know what, try that, that whatchamacallit, the, you know, the hypnosis. Maybe they can break that spell from you, too. I don't know. Uh, but you need something. Uh, Jenny Craig, try that. Electric funeral there from Nick Thunder. Looked like he was going to seal the deal. Here we go, a slow-mo action cam, sky cam, excuse me, uh, view of it was a heavy blow. He was going to try for the electric funeral to seal the deal, but his leg gave out giving Michael Ralston the advantage, and uh, he took full advantage of that with uh, this right here, the Kamikaze Bomb. And Michael Ralston, a little bit of information here. Michael Ralston has now tied Nick Thunder with the most United States Championship reigns in history, which now stands at three. What a match, and it'll be interesting to see what this all what all comes of this uh, in the coming weeks and months, because there's, there's gotta be more to the story here. What an incredible upset this must be on behalf of Nick Thunder as Michael Ralston is your winner of the United States Championship. What now? Who says I'm not good enough? Who says I can't cut? Who says I can't hit? This! This says otherwise! I'm Michael Ralston! United States shit! Well, uh, he's sure got something going on. It, I, I'm going to be interested to see what this all means and how this is going to change the dynamic of the United States Championship division. Um, but continuing on with the show here, ladies and gentlemen, um, coming up next, uh, oh, hold on, we're, we've lost uh, transmission here, just, just a moment. Oh, no. Aiden Lane steps into our world tonight he claims he's elegant claims he has class doesn't matter where we come from <laughs> we see we come from the shadows rule all and tonight Aiden you will be the perfect elegant specimen to be swallowed by the shadows. <laughs> well, our world heavyweight champion is clearly ready for his match here tonight to defend that world title. But the man in the background in that whole thing was Panic and the monster, the uh, living nightmare that we know as Panic goes up against Sid. This should be a heavy, uh, hard-hitting match uh, here, Bob. I expect this match to be very intense, and if anybody even probably has a chance to take down Panic, it's got to be Sid, even though he has already lost to him once before. Uh, well, I, I mean, if you really think Sid has a chance against Panic, I don't know if you were watching Panic as I was uh, last season. He was a he was an atomic bomb dropped into the middle of this arena and in this company panic just laid waste to everybody that stepped into the ring with him which included our very own CEO here you see panic slowly and methodically walking to the ring with purpose I, I'm not sure if Sid will I mean not to try to take away from Sid's ability we've seen what he's capable of last season against Nick Thunder we know what Sid can do but I don't know if it's gonna be enough against this monster panic I'm very curious Joe I I don't know what it takes to beat panic and I don't know what it takes to beat pain but I'm putting my faith in Sid right now he has tact and I hope he uses that tact here tonight to take pa panic down well I guess only time's gonna tell on that but uh, you see panic waiting in the middle of the ring for the outlaw former two-time United States champion going to be making his way to the ring. And here he comes. And in he rolls on that beautiful black Harley Davidson Road King, the outlaw Sid. 
Uh, he's going to have to use uh, some speed, some agility. He's not going to want to throw hands uh, with Panic. We know that Sid has uh, got that more of that brawling style, just smash mouth in your face. But if he goes toe to toe with Panic, try to trade blows, he's going to win that fight, or he's going to lose that fight. Excuse me, every time. Uh, Panic is not something that he's going to want to throw hands with. So being the smaller athlete, he's going to want to maybe try to juke and jive, as they have said in the past. Uh, you're right, Joe. He's going to definitely want to use strategy here against Panic, and he's going to want to be smart about how he cooks up his meal here this afternoon. I honestly, he better get Gordon Ramsay with Panic real quick, or he's going to find himself in the frying pan. Now, speaking of uh, cooking your meal, I just heard the, uh, you know, the microwave go off. Why don't you go and get that? I'll handle this from here. Um, Sid getting ready to no, he's. Uh, a little leery about getting in the ring. I guess one can't say that the, that we can blame him. Um, uh, Sid, Sid cautiously trying to pick his spot here. Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? Bob, I've never heard this before. What's going on here? I have no idea, Joe. I'm just as surprised as you are. I, I really, maybe, maybe this is what the CEO was talking about earlier. Is this the previous talent? You, you have a point, I wasn't thinking about that, but he said that he had signed a former SMIW talent. Could this be who we're waiting for? Oh my God, Bob! It's Dante! Incredible, Joe. We haven't seen him in ages. No, Dante hasn't had a match in nearly eight years. Dante has returned here to SMIW. I can't believe my eyes. And look at him, he's going to go straight for his former arch rival, his arch nemesis, Sid. These men have had wars with each other back in the past. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Hold on, they're going to jump in the ring here, right after Panic. These two guys are going to be working together. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're going to need to do this too. Even though Panic shoves them both back, they're going to get back up on their feet and keep this stomping going. They're going to have to work together if they intend to bring Panic down and out of this match. Uh, Panic, Panic still, the monster that he is, grabs them both by the throat, a headbutt to each one of these competitors. But both of them, Sid, Dante, doing their best to shake it off. They're coming back to Panic with full force, full throttle. These guys have to do what they have to do. And I guess the enemy of my enemy is a friend. They're going to set him up for a suplex, but it's not working. Look at him just shoving them back. Oh, my God. What a double suplex reversal by Panic. That strength is second to none. That was incredible, Joe. When was the last time we've ever seen this in the SMIW? I don't think we ever have. Uh, the, that display of strength and power, we haven't seen anything like that in a very long time. Dante, I, I'm so happy to see him back, but he is outside the ring currently leaving Sid all alone with the living nightmare. A heavy shot. A big right hand. This is what we were just talking about a second ago. Sid doesn't want to throw hands with this guy. It could be because he's, he can cave his skull in right here if he's not careful. It's, it's really incredible, Joe. This really is a testament to how strong Panic is to be able to take on both these two at once. And look at this. He's setting them up for, yes, indeed, a massive choke slam. Oh, sending stra Sid straight to hell. Oh, that impact is unbelievable. One, Cover. Two. Only a two count. Uh, panic there, not with the, once again, we've been talking about the covers here uh, all night at Rising Stars, and, and he didn't have the pressure on the upper body. He didn't hook the leg. Uh, usually Panic doesn't have to, however, but Sid is not willing to give up this fight quite yet. Picks him back up, whipped to the far side of the ring, and Sid's going to grab the ropes and pull a 180 and get out of harm's way. Uh, maybe not for long, however, because here comes Panic, stalking him on the outside. Indeed, Panic is hot on his trail, or at least as hot as he can be. And look at this, Dante out of nowhere, clothesline, almost dilapidating the head straight off of Panic. Knocking the monster down, and he's going to put the boots to Panic. And Sid, Sid's going to round the corner and join in. These guys, once again, working together. I am, oh, what a leg drop to the side of the head of Panic. I've never... Never in my wildest dreams believed that I'd ever see Dante and Sid working together. I didn't know if I'd ever see Dante again. I am so happy to see that. I, I'm so stoked that Dante is back 
and SMIW. These two working together, face off of the side of the ring. What are they going to do next? How are they going to handle this? Baseball drop kick and the kickstart stop to the side of the head and Panic is down. These rivals are working together very well as a team here, Bob. Yeah, and now I want to see how this is going to be handled by Dante and Sid moving forward. And yes, indeed, they're going to go ahead and just have themselves a good old-fashioned slugfest. Yeah, the uh, the partnership didn't last long. And oh, he's breaking the eyes. Oh, I expect nothing less from Sid. Of course, he's going to try to take the easy way out. I knew that that, that partnership couldn't have lasted too long. The hatred boiled over. It was just too much. Whipped to the side of the ring. And a clothesline taking Dante's head off. He's gonna go for the cover right here. One, two. And a two count for the outlaw. I'll tell you what, Joe, that landing looked pretty raw on the hand, on, on the behalf of Dante. That clothesline as hellacious as that was, I'm not so sure Dante handled that uh, very well. Uh, I, we're gonna see what happens here, but it looked rough. Uh, and you see Panic here, he's in rough shape himself. Uh, we've never really seen Panic like that too often. Uh, oh yeah, you see Dante kind of holding that arm there to his side. He may have injured that shoulder. Oh, that impact on that scoop slam. And Sid feeling proud of that one, as he should be. When he actually wants to bring the heat, uh, Sid can do it. And there's the middle rope elbow, something we haven't seen in years. Cover here. One, two. Two count for Sid. That scoop slam was certainly textbook on the behalf of Sid. And he's showing himself to handle him, handling this match pretty well, both against Dante and Panic, even though Panic is, you know, gave him a pretty good run for his money here early in the match. Well, you see Dante here, he's, there's something that, something is wrong with that arm or that shoulder, we're not really sure what, but uh, he couldn't really even put any pressure on it, trying to get back to his feet. Um, Sid, he's, he's going to try to take advantage. He's kind of barring that arm uh, over that top rope there with the uh, punches to the side of the face. Oh, and there's that back elbow that Sid is really getting to be known for here in SMIW. Uh, only time's going to tell how the uh, potential injury. And there's a back elbow from Dante to cut off Sid's momentum um, to see how that uh, injury, uh, potential injury from uh, Dante is going to affect him here in this match. Yeah, he, he, look at that spine buster, incredible. And here's a cover. One, two. Two count there for Dante. I'll tell you what, Joe, that if, if his arm is injured, that spine buster was still totally incredible. So hopefully he's not worse for wear and he can still take this match in hand. Well, uh, Dante obviously would love nothing more than to claim victory in his first match back in this kind of impromptu triple threat match. We weren't expecting this. This was not originally in the plan for today. Um, but uh, Dante and Sid, again, their rivalry, uh, you know, was something to behold back in 2010. What a snap suplex. Uh, bad arm and all. What impact on that suplex from Dante. Another cover. One. Two. And a kick out by Sid. Dante not with the strongest to cover there. That is not, uh, that's that's very unlike Dante. Normally he's he's much better on his covers, but you got to think he's been out of the ring for nearly eight years here. And uh, again, first match back, and you can tell there's something wrong with that arm. He's, he's still clutching it at his side. Uh, if we have paramedics uh, back in the back, we may have to really... Uh, Make sure we get them on standby. Dante may need some medical attention. He's going to whip Sid off to the side of the ring here. Tripped up by Panic. I can't believe Panic had the wherewithal to grab Sid's legs and pull him down like that. And look at that headbutt. He's going to take advantage over Sid on the outside of the ring here and now. And then a face off to the uh, off the post there. You can see Brian Myers kind of sitting off there in the background there a little bit, maybe uh, surveying his competition uh, for the future. Sid has been laid out, Panic, this is not good. This is not good for either of these competitors. They were able to double team Panic before. Now it's one on one and a drop kick to the knee. Dante, never known to be a stupid athlete, takes control 
and cuts oh. Panic off at the pass with that drop kick to the leg. He certainly did, Joe, and that was very smart on Dante's behalf to try to keep Panic under control. It looked like Panic was going to go for a spine buster there, but instead wound up getting a big DDT from Dante. Driven headfirst into the mat by the returning Dante. Dante, even if he is injured, that would be highly unfortunate, but he's gotten it through. He's really looking good here in this match. Here's a cover. But no count. There is no count here. What is wrong? What is wrong with the with the official? With the official here. I I I'm just I'm astounded. I can't even find words for how frustrating that's got to be. What a tough break from Dante. He might have had this match won, but this triple threat, it, it, our official is just I, I don't know. He, he must have been distracted but Dante he's not gonna let that get in his way he's gonna go for the power bomb he's gonna end it right here no reversal by panic panic is now vertical neither one of these competitors that are against panic here tonight want to see him back fully standing and on his feet no that's uh it's not good news it's gonna be a bad time for both Dante and Sid you you don't want panic vertical, and that's exactly what he is. But he's stand, you know, set up. He's going to go for the panic attack. Here it comes. A one, a two, and there it is. Textbook panic attack as it is. And there here comes Sid. Sid's going to try to capitalize on this moment. Whiplash by Sid, but the monster doesn't go down. He's got to go at it again. A second whiplash stunner, and the monster's still up, and finally... Finally, he tumbles to the ground. Oh, man, look at how much it takes just to bring Panic down. Two whiplash stunners from Sid to make that happen. And here it is. Sid's going to go after Dante again with another whiplash stunner. Dante tried to make his way to his feet. Cover. One, two, three. And after that final whiplash stunner, Sid wins one hell of a fight. Good for Sid. Good for Sid to be able to pull this out here in the end. And here we watch the replay of the beginning of this match where the two of them just went full slugger on Panic. Yeah, these two, again, these former arch rivals working together. Panic, uh, not to not to take anything away from Panic. He, he muscled his way through the beginning of this match, fighting off both of these athletes. But the double team eventually became too much, even for the monster, the... Uh, Teamwork didn't last long, however. And oh, here's that clothesline we were talking about earlier. Here's a slow mo look at it. Oh yeah, look how he landed on that shoulder. Yeah, he'd be lucky if he can use that arm from here forward. I can't wait to see a medical report on that. Dante's first match back and is already facing injury. Yeah, that's that is so highly unfortunate. Injury or no, even look at this spine buster slow mo uh, sky cam. He didn't quite get all of it, but his power was still there. He was using some high impact offense. Panic, that's where he got back into the fray of things. Taken down by Dante with that DDT. And he was gonna set up for the victory right here, but Panic wasn't happening. That is absolutely correct, Joe. And look at this Panic attack right here to Dante. Just crushing him. And here's another look at it, but as soon as the Panic attack hit, Sid, ever opportunistic, hits not one, but two with flash stunners to take the monster down. It almost didn't work, as you see there. He, all, he was almost still standing even after the second one. Uh, and he finally, uh, I mean, Dante tried to get one, back into this matchup, two, couldn't get it done, three. as Sid cuts him off with a third and final whiplash stunner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the outlaw, Sid. What a match. I've been so proud to be able to call this match. Again, we might want to get some medical attention for Dante, uh, but Sid is your winner right here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to send it backstage once again uh, with the board of directors. Aiden Lane, this is your night. It's all up to you. You're, you're the savior of SMIW. You got to walk her out tonight with the World Heavyweight Championship, and you, you, you have, you have to have our man's back. Right? Right, Connor? This is absolutely, absolutely correct. Absolutely. I will guide him. You yes. will be the champion. We know you can be. And he will ensure that it happens. Yes. Under my guidance, no man has ever failed. That's what I like to hear. 
Gentlemen, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night it needs to happen. World Heavyweight Championship under our control, under our umbrella. Amen, boss. In our Amen. image, it needs to happen. You're the man, Aiden Ling. You guys as a team, Connor, we can't lose. Yes. We cannot lose. Very excited. I'm giddy with anticipation. Failure is not an option tonight. Don't okay. worry. Don't worry. We've got some tricks up our sleeve. Yes. Let's yeah. just say it should be an interesting night. Yes, absolutely. Are you ready? Well, who am I kidding? You were born ready. I already I'm know. I'm elegant, aren't I? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Go get him, Tiger. Go be the champion. We know you can be. All right. Okay. We'll be get here watching there. on our monitor, cheering you both on. Let's go out there, gentlemen. Go ahead. Let's do this. Let's get the job done. Come on, boys. Bring it home. Bring it home. Sweet. Yes. Let's watch this happen. Let's watch this happen. You will see. You will see. Yes. Yes, we will. Now, the board of directors giving the pep talk for the EWA National Heavyweight Champion, Aiden Lane. We heard from Payne earlier tonight. We know the World Heavyweight Champion is ready. It is main event time here at Rising Stars as Payne defends his crown against the suave one, Aiden Lane. I have no idea really what to expect out of Aiden Lane here. He's a brand new competitor and a supposed champion. I don't really believe the EWA title has any clout here in the SMIW, but you know maybe he does bring something from his you know other promotion to you know maybe stack up against Payne. But either way, he has backup with our general manager here tonight. Uh, here we go with uh, Lee Michelson, the general manager, is the special guest referee. Uh, again, we, we might want might want to um, might not want to uh, uh, dismiss the EWA National Heavyweight Title uh, so easily, um, but we don't know what Aiden Lane's capable of. We don't know who he competes against in the EWA. We don't know uh, what kind of maneuvers to expect. We don't know what kind of strategy he might have. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of video footage out there of Payne. He's been around a very long time. Aiden Lane obviously can scout Payne. Payne hasn't had that opportunity uh, against his opponent, the suave Aiden Lane. I suppose you'd be right here, Joe. It's just I, I, I tend to know the devil I know, and that is Payne here. And I don't, I can't imagine anybody being able to take him down. Well. Suave, well, and now our, our monitor's going crazy again. That signifies the arrival of the Risen Demon, the Master of the Shadows, the record-holding six-time World Heavyweight Champion, the Legendary Pain. And through the smoke, through the fog, from the other side of darkness, steps this demon. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the world heavyweight champion, the most destructive champion that we've ever had in history, makes his way to the ring. Payne is a surefire beast in the ring, and he's gonna he's not gonna just simply roll over and let this newcomer take his belt. Although the newcomer does have the help of Lee Michelson here this evening. Now, Lee Michelson is going to be uh, interesting to see how he officiates this match. But uh, here we see Payne uh, creepily uh, entering the ring to defend the SMIW World Heavyweight Championship right here tonight. Here you see Aiden Lane not quite sure what to make of his opponent here tonight. Uh, Payne has this this certain presence uh, uh, about him like no other. And right, Lee Michelson here gonna lay down the law. My name is Lee Michelson, general manager of SMIW, and today I will be your special guest referee. Now, Aiden Lane, hey, I wanna have a good, clean match. Okay, we're gonna follow the rules. We're gonna do it clean. You understand? Clean. 
Well, Payne's going to have none of that as he shoves the general manager back. And he's going to bring in them heavy right hands onto Aiden Lane, whip into the corner, and a shot to the gut, sending Aiden Lane to the mat. Got the burner set on high. Payne is here to show the newcomer that he is not to be trifled with. And a whip to the far side here, and a big boot right up underneath the chin from Payne. Payne already stalking his prey and drops the knee into the chest of Aiden Lane. There you see it a second time. This is classic Payne offense. He usually follows that up with this high jumping third knee to the chest. And there it is, cover. Oh, my hand. Oh, what is this? My hand. Oh, Bob, what is he doing? Well, naturally, you have to come to expect this, Joe, is that Lee Michelson and the CEO and our board of directors are going to do something to try to cheat Payne out of his title here tonight. Yeah, the strategy here really becoming evident, and Aiden Lane takes control, takes advantage of the distraction, taking out the leg of Payne, working on that leg real heavy now. If Payne can't stand, that just it nullifies all of his offense. Uh, Aiden Lane here, he, he doesn't know what to make of Payne. He's, it's like he's, he's frozen in terror. Payne is not going to let that go unpunished. And here he comes again with a heavy right hand to the side of the head. Yes, and Payne is not going to let that go as Aiden Lane apparently was attempting to size up his opponent and probably in pure fear of, of Payne himself. And I guess you can't say that we can blame him. Uh, Payne now with the advantage with that uh, uh, rear naked choke or that, that side headlock uh, excuse me, the headlock there on, on Aiden Lane really taking back control of this match. Payne going to set him up. And there's that super kick. Normally the super uh, super kick is to the mouth, to the chin. Payne's has always been to the upper chest. Going to drive the air right out of his opponent. Yeah, Aiden Lane would be lucky not to be suffering a heart attack right this moment. And Payne stalking him. Payne out to the outside. He's going to scale the ropes. Going to go for that patented clothesline off of the top rope that Payne has been known for throughout his career. Sizing him up. And there it is. There's that clothesline. Payne's going to go for the cover again. Oh, man, my hand. Oh, and again, again. Hand. Lee Michelson refusing to count the three for the World Heavyweight Champion. This is not right, Bob. It's just not right. Well, I tell you, tell you what, Joe, I, I expect this of the board directors, and they have to do everything they can to make sure Payne doesn't retain victory. I do not blame them here in this circumstance. You don't blame him. He's, uh, well, Payne might make him pay for it here in just a few moments, but Aiden Lane is going to take advantage. There's the ruse breaker, his finishing maneuver. It has no effect on Payne as he stalks his opponent. Payne grabs him by the throat. He's going to set him up for the choke slam. And there it is. Did you hear that impact? I think the whole world heard that impact. The thud off that canvas was devastating as Payne finished off that choke slam onto Aiden Lane. And Payne looking strong here. But it might not matter what Payne does here. If Lee Michelson will not count the pinfall, how can Payne even win here tonight? He's going to set him up, and there it is. We see it. Payne's got Aiden Lane in the gallows. You can see the life just withering away from Aiden Lane. He's going to drop the arm, bring the th uh, finger across the throat, and the sudden death. He's going to go for the cover again. Count him. Count him, damn it. No. Look. He touches the mat, but he didn't count the three. Come on. And Payne. Payne is going to grab it. He better count the three if he wants to keep his life. That's right. He better do what is good for him. And yes, he does. There, finally, is a third count. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, and probably out of fear for his life, Lee Michelson finally counts the three, and he's going to get out of here. He's get, that's probably a very smart move on the part of our general manager. It was a good thing that he's wearing dark pants. That is very correct, Joe. That suit operates as a very useful shield, and he needed that shield against Payne. Otherwise, Payne would end his life right here on this first missed count. 
Yeah, not only did he do it once, he did it multiple times. Yeah, obviously, uh, as this match played out, you can see the entire strategy, the entire plan of the board of directors here trying to give Aiden Lane every advantage and cheap shot that he could possibly get. Here you see it for the second time. He would not count the three count. Aiden Lane went for the ruse breaker, whatever that means, but it had no effect on pain. Pain. Right there, you see it from our sky cam with that big choke slam and the sudden death to take Aiden Lane down. And finally, this this other this, this last count where Payne Payne just he had to intimidate Lee Michelson into counting the three to finally retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, they should have known it wasn't going to be this easy, Joe. They should have known better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still the SMIW World Heavyweight Champion, the Master of the Shadows, Payne. We hope you've enjoyed the show. This has been Rising Stars. I am Joe Davis here for Bob Costley. We will see you next time. And follow the rules. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How did we fail? Stop. Stop. No. 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 Happen on my show! Close. Close. You you promised me this was gonna work, Connor! You promised me this was gonna work! Uh -huh. uh -huh. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Trust trust the Connor McNichols. Why don't you just have a lay back? Just, just have a lay. Ah! Ah! Just try to relax. Just sit right back there. You good old Connor McNichols. Let me, let me pull up a tire. Alright? Here, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about this, alright? I don't want it! 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 I don't want it. Okay. Just count to ten. Alright? Yeah. Just... Oh. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Okay. We... we... Just we, breathe. We need a... Just breathe. We need another plan. We have another plan. I got it! I got it. How long has this cameraman been here? Matter of fact, you know what? I'm glad you're here. I don't want that. I'm glad you're here. I have an announcement to make. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor, this is big. This is huge. Our next event. And our next event, damn it! Okay. Easy. Easy. In through the noose. Out through the mouth. All right? Just, just breathe. Okay, I have it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, at our next event, we are bringing back a match that is so brutal, so vile. It's coming back after an eight year hiatus. At our next event, we will bring back the gauntlet match. And in that match, for the first time in history, Payne will be the first entrant, and he will defend the SMIW World Heavyweight Championship throughout the entire gauntlet. The way this match will work and how it stands, any competitor that comes in and wins the wave, whoever wins their match within the gauntlet, becomes the new World Heavyweight Champion. And when all is said and done, and all the smoke is cleared, the last remaining competitor that stands in the ring, holding the World Heavyweight Champion, will be our World Heavyweight Champion. And we're gonna spruce it up just a little bit further. What we're going to do, I am sending this out to all former SMIW talent. Not only can the competitors from today's roster compete in this gauntlet match, but if you have competed in SMIW before, you are eligible. I am opening the doors. Come to SMIW. Participate in the gauntlet match because this could be your shot to win the World Heavyweight Championship. 
That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because the gauntlet is coming. But to end uh, today's therapy session, we'll uh, reconvene sometime later. <laughs>